Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. It's me again, Tiffany. So I know that you guys haven't seen me in a while. I have not been posting how I should be, or as consistent as consistent as I should be posting, and I'm really working on fixing that soon. Yeah, it's Sometimes I just feel like we're ready for adulthood, but I wasn't ready, so yeah. You know, and I do think it's important that if we feel as if we need to find time to really work on ourselves, it's okay to do that. And I, I took some time to really, you know, work on myself, find myself. I, I'm always taking time to find myself. Cause I guess me always I lose myself, but I am just grateful to God that I'm still here today and you're able to see my face another time. Sometimes I feel like taking up the camera like some things are just dropping on my head. I think that is sheer worthy and I feel like I'll just, you know, share it. But then I'm saying I'm not sure people really want to hear me talk, I really want to hear what I have to say, but probably you do. And probably you don't but um, I am just grateful to God that I'm still here I'm still alive I'm still in my right mind I am still safe so I'm not a perfect human being I do falter and feel God at times but I have matured I have really matured God has really been working on me as it and I think he has been teaching me endurance now like never before to endure certain situations and circumstances that come with the intention to break me, I find that no longer do I allow my emotions to affect my spiritual walk or to affect um, the time and effort that I give to God because in spite of my situation and circumstances, God still deserves worship because as we need to understand that there are different seasons in our lives and things won't always be a better rose. Things won't always be smooth. But sometimes we are up on the rocky road. Sometimes we are up on the smooth road. Sometimes we are up on the road when on the road. But at the end of the day, God's, God remains the same. While the road and our situation and our seasons might change, God remains the same. And I'm just grateful to God that he has been teaching me he has been working on me and has been you know causing me to mature spiritually that the things that i would the reaction that i would give to certain situations in the past and I, I don't give the same reactions no you know the other day i sat on my toilet and i said god it's a god and it's a god and it's a god and it's a god but i'm still going to give you worship and i'm still going to get up every morning i'm going to smile i'm going to be happy because you are still God. You see, when Paul and Silas were, were thrown in jail, you know, and they assigned them a specific watchman. Uh, and we need to understand that our very enemies, they are intimidated by us because they know that our God is indeed real. They might not want to accept it. They don't, might not want to says do spoken words and say you know say that girl that really uh, that girl that really have some spiritual connection or that person really have some spiritual connection some people might not want to open their mouth and with spoken words and accept that there is some supreme being that there is a god but you see when you go to certain situations in life then you have to accept it be if you accept either man because we look back for where god to bring me from you know some things when they go through, you know. I no longer ask God why. I no longer ask God why me. I'm, I'm grateful that God allowed me to go through certain things that I can testify for his goodness. Why not me? Why not you? God chose his only son that he loves dearly. One, you know, 
So we have four, six, and ten people. Yeah, we not even choose them. Forgot to would it. We still would take one. I say, remember make that one and yeah, go through some hardship. And at ten, we have we forget one. We still have nine. And, and we wouldn't even think for all one. And we pity them for God to hardship. And God chose His only Son come into come on this earth and go through chastisement, betrayal. That God then talk down from him, then criticize him. God went, Jesus went through it all, all the bad things. And it was his God's only son. And yet still like him in truth. So why not me? Why not you? We got you all over, we got you. Why not me? Why not you? Why not me? Why not you? We need to be grateful because God only chooses us because he wants his glory to be manifested in through in and through us, his power to be manifested in and through us that we can testify and he get the glory. He only wants to use us to give him glory. And what an honor is that for God to use me for him to get his glory. Huh? I am grateful. Why not me? Why not you? You might be going through your situation and your circumstances, but Paul and Silas, even though they were thrown in jail, jail and the prison men and all, the others thought that, okay, now we have this man, these men trapped them under our control. And, and the day passed and they said, sure, everybody go sleep now. God now can deliver them people here. But at midnight, when everybody's asleep and everybody think it's peace and safety, just at the brook of dawn, when you were about to cross over from one day into another day, a mighty earthquake came in the man and shook the prison walls that Paul, Paul and Silas was thrown in. in. And the Bible says after the earthquake, the prison, the watchman then did not sleep. Let me tell you something. Enemy sleep, but God not sleep. So don't worry yourself. Because your God, our God, he's always awake. He's always awake and he's always ready to do what only him alone can do. But I'm just encouraging you today. That God is going to allow you to walk out of your prison situation your prison circumstances is about to shake the walls of your situation the walls of your condition the wall of your of everything that is holding you bondage is about to release you all you have to do is like paul and silas be in the situation and still worship god be in the circumstances and still give him glory be in the condition that look like say nothing now nah, go no 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 good now nah, go come out of it and still give god what is due unto him and watch him shake your foundation watch him crumble every situation and circumstances that is hindering you delaying you from your divine blessings from your divine increase from your divine expansion i'm going out with my friends and i'm taking you along yeah and i hope you enjoy yourself god is intentional and he never fails the song that i was singing at sunday at church it's my time to break free it's your time to break free we have been going through so much for so long but the season is about to change in your life may accept it my season change you know it might not look like a change but guess what don't know about you but i know the season has changed in my life it might not look that way now but sometimes you see just as how it takes time like you know your bank your bank could have tell you because certain banks don't work on weekends so they would you you get some notification on friday that you know this such and such money is in your account however it is not ready for um withdrawal as yet but on monday now give it a two or three days to process they're gonna process the fund <laughs> you hear that the process it's there you know your money is sending them but the, the bank first have to process the funds so accessible to you on such and such a day probably three days after four days after but guess what it is in your account there it's just that it's just they just need to take time to process it for it to be accessible to you my season has changed your season if you believe it it will change as well because God goes based on our feet it might not the processing might not be yet complete but the season has changed the season has changed in my life my it's my time to break free it's your time to break free come with me as we enjoy ourselves today too long we have just been um, existing it's time for us to live all right, let's go. You see me again when we get there. Bye. All right, guys. So we are at our location. The break there. Sunny there. Burger King, cause I challenge you. We're gonna. We're gonna need to fall. <laughs> <laughs> oh. 
puzzling Jamaica escape rooms. So we're going on an adventure. Sunny day. Let's be dressed up and such. Bridge, you know, belly of a full. Extra much. So anyways, what do you think? What do you think we are going to win a challenge or it's going to be a fail? Yeah, win. Can't fail. Okay. Win. Well, let's, let's see. see. Let's see. So we're ready for the challenge. Are you guys ready for the challenge? So only the team from here. Only the team. 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 Only the so, Sunny and Bridget, we're going. So, let's see what's the verdict. All right. The movie is just, you're not going to die today. <laughs> so, they're closing the room. So, in the movie, actually, I was real fire than the world, the movie, like, really. Mm -hmm. but, in a lot of they might have some trap doors that they have to move the clue they leave to um, lock boxes and stuff like that. So, there are clues in the room that they have to find, search as a team, find, put them together. Find eight
last door. I will lose. What you have to say for the crowd? All right, let's let's do an interview. What you have to say for the crowd, Sunny? How does it feel to lose? It feels. Yes. Yes. Get a good keyring there. Yes. Yeah. 